Today we're talking about Tesla. Tesla. A little cliche. Kind of everyone talks about Tesla, right? Who doesn't? Especially on YouTube. I mean, just recently because they're pretty hot in the news. No, they're always hot. Recently. It's crazy when you Google search Tesla how many things come up. Not just about the company themselves, but like people who just drive Teslas and crazy stories about it. It's crazy. It's like Florida man for cars. <laughs> Florida man? Yeah, like people falling Sorry, asleep Florida and like, you know, you. cars burning and like just crazy stuff and anyways. But anyways, yeah, there's been a lot about Tesla in the news lately. Like um, a lot of press, price drops. Tes- Tesla's blah, blah, blah. I cannot speak English. Sorry, guys. A lot of Tesla price drops lately. Mm. Yeah, re- Tesla recently just dropped its price uh, of the Model Y from 60000 to... I believe the price is somewhere around like forty six thousand and change right now. Wait a minute, so the car went from sixty to forty what? Forty six and change. Forty six. I believe it's like forty six seven. That's a big price cut. Yeah, it was just over sixty thousand dollars they were selling that for. So yeah, yeah, they've dropped it about fifteen thousand dollars in that range, mm-hmm. which I thought was you know still a pretty expensive car, but apparently to Bloomberg, I was when I was doing this research that. It's still roughly a, about a thousand dollars less than what the average car sells for in the United States. So why would they drop the price? I feel because like they they they're kind of hitting a wall right now. EVs are not super common, but they're becoming more common, and I think they're hitting a wall because also like they're targeted the Tesla's brand towards like upper class people. You can't not everyone can go out and drop sixty, seventy, eighty thousand. A hundred thousand on a on a Tesla Model S, even the Model Three. Those are fifty thousand dollar cars. So I feel like he's trying to kind of expand, expand market. his market for Tesla, okay. and in general, an EV trying to get it to be more attractive to the average American and the average person in the world. So okay. I think, and then also cool. What I found about it is it's a forty six thousand dollar car priced at. I think that I don't know if that's the starting price is forty six thousand change. But I also was pretty cool is you get a seventy five hundred dollar federal federal tax credit. So that drops the car. How much again? Seven seven thousand five hundred is the tax credit for the model Y. So basically the push is to get everybody into a Tesla. That's what it yes. feels like. Okay. Yeah. Cause and I feel like I feel like Tesla's doing this because they're looking around and they're realizing, well, it's only probably just a matter of time until other cars start going real heavy into the EV world. And they noticed that there are companies that have been in the game for 30, 40, 50, 60 years, not in the EV, but in the car industry. Mm-hmm. Like one of that I've always kind of pointed it out to that it could give a Tesla a good run for its money uh, is uh, Volkswagen. I like Volkswagen. Volkswagen's a good company and they have so many subsidiaries. It's it's crazy. Like you could, in the future, if they go full electric, like full EV, like you're talking like they own Ducati. Like, you could have electric motorcycles. They just released, or about to this year, an electric Lamborghini. Oh, wow. They also own, yeah, yes. that's crazy. And Volkswagen owns a Lamborghini. And Porsche. And think about it. So, it's like, I think that's why, why like, Tesla's going, like, a cheaper range mm-hmm. to now to their more expensive cars. They're, because they're realizing that these already, their competitors can have that range right so i feel like they, they've that noticing that and they want to get that before other people start really like oh you can just buy a new twenty four thousand, twenty thousand dollar brand new electric car so i think they're trying to get get to those price points before other people start getting heavy and then people are going to be like oh well i don't need to buy it Tesla. i can go buy a, an electric hyundai or an electric kia or an electric um so, wait. passat so the underlining agenda is to get everybody into a Tesla or to push electric vehicles? Well, obviously, I think both. I both. think obviously they want to because they have that image, Tesla, the electric vehicles, A and B. If they can get into those other price points, you have, you're, you're going to expand your revenue. I think I would buy a Tesla eventually. I really liked those yeah. videos of the van when they... They were like yeah. potentially rolling them over, and they always land on their mm-hmm. wheels. I don't know what model that was, but it looked like a minivan. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yeah. I would whip a minivan. Yeah, I don't. Have I know someone kids, who has one of those, but I would. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I guess if it's good if you have kids, God forbid, if something happens and your car flips. Yeah. Who knows what happens during the flip? I mean, you're probably still going to get injured, but at least you won't be upside down. Right. 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 
But anyways, yeah, and one of the cool things too I saw about the Model Y is it's interesting actually. China, Shanghai are going to be the ones distributing the cars. Of course. Of course. From their Shanghai factory, which okay. I found out is Tesla's actually largest factory. In Shanghai. Shanghai, China. Okay. Bigger than their California and their newer Texas Texas one. Wait, it's been there for a long time? I think so. I'm not exactly sure. That one thing I didn't find out how long that factory has been there, but it's their largest one. I wonder how that's going to be affected, but I mean, I guess time will yeah. tell. And they're now like they they are literally designing and building cars specifically for the North American consumer, and shipping those cars. And it's going to be the first time they've ever shipped um, from China, as well Tesla has. The other car companies have done it too. Like I know, like BMW, they have I think like one or two of their cars that are made and shipped out of mm -hmm. from Shanghai. I think it's going to be like kind of like how like Detroit was, like Motor City. Oh. But I think of, it's going to be more of Motor City of like the world and of Asia. Shanghai, I mean. I'm, I'm very curious to see yeah. how this develops. Yeah. I would buy a Tesla car. Yeah, especially if they're going to be more affordable. Like if you can get into a nice EV at like 20 grand. But I think a lot of people have the concern that if it's electric, how are they going to be able to charge it without... No, accessibility to electric charging stations. Yeah. So I think that will be the challenge coming up. But if the push is to get everybody in, I think people will start adapting chargers in order to attract customers because yeah. they can service their cars in their <clears throat> parking lots. I mean, I've seen some targets. Yeah, you see them more at like high end places, like when you go to like a like a Whole Foods or a Starbucks or something. But high end. I mean, high I end. Target. Target. High end. I shop at Target. Everyone shops at Target. I shop at Walmart too. <laughs> yeah. But I prefer Target. Yeah. But anyways, this this is the video about Tesla. No, <laughs> no it's Let's okay. Shoot. But when I started looking into this, uh, all the whole um, thing about the Model Y and everything and everything being um, shipped from Shanghai, it's absolutely crazy. Like that's why it kind of like me to believe it's kind of going to be like the new Motor City of like the world. It's a bold statement. Because right now Tesla, I mean not Tesla. China, as in the country, is the largest producer of vehicles in the world. Wow, really? Uh -huh. I didn't know that. I mean, they're the second biggest population in the world. But that doesn't mean... That doesn't yeah. really mean... Yeah, and they're the second largest of exporters surpassed Germany last year. Just for... Yeah, for, cars. for car exporting for cars. Uh huh. Okay. And they're only second to Japan. But now with Tesla going right. there, it's like... It's probably only just a matter of time until China is going to be the number one exporter of cars. Right. And I looked up the numbers, actually, because I wanted to compare it against, like, populations. Because I'm like, okay, well, maybe it justifies them making 26 plus million dollars, uh, 26 million plus cars per year. And then I was like, hmm, let me look at another really large country. And I looked at India. And I was like, okay, India is the largest population. It's a little bit bigger than China's. And they're only producing, I think, somewhere between like four to four point five million cars. So China's outdoing a country that has a slightly larger population by them by like four to six times the amount of cars. Okay. And India has what one point four four one point four five billion people. I'm I'm interested to find out the response to competitors from competitors. Yeah. It's yeah. Actually didn't uh, wait, wait. I thought China had a had a EV competitor. With Tesla. Yeah, I can't remember the name of the company is right Neo? now, but they... No, Neo is Chinese. But it's not the competitor to Tesla? I mean, I guess it is because they're EV as well, but I really haven't heard much about uh, Neo lately. But there is another company, and they... Uh, maybe we'll make an episode about it. I was actually reading. I just can't remember the name of them right now, but they... they That company, which I can't remember the name of, they just recently started exporting cars into Europe as well, so... Okay. I mean, Tesla has a lot of popu a lot of competition, but okay, that's really interesting. Yeah, but I don't know. I just feel like um, I mean, a lot of there's a lot of Tesla haters, which gets into my next point. My next key point is like the fact that there are all these downgrades now on Tesla stock from these analysts since February. <sighs> And I think they're just purposely trying to do it because they're seeing what's happening. So I think they come out with these like these stupid articles and then they, they can short the stock 
Because if you notice, Tesla stock went on like a five week run, like over a hundred percent run from a hundred dollars to start off the year was a hundred and one dollars. I remember I looked at the chart and it went up to two seventeen. And then in late February, they started downgrading it after a run to over 217, which were all of their initial price targets. Now that it hit their price target, they're dumping it and they're probably going to short it back down to that 100 again so they can just rinse and repeat because they're downgrading Tesla because, because it's more affordable now. And their public and their and their idea of is they're, they're downgrading it is because, oh, well, Tesla has more cheaper cars Tesla used to be the 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 upper class EV brand, but God forbid now they make a car under forty six thousand, so the stock can only be worth one hundred and sixty now. Mm. Which is, I think, it's just a bunch of crap. Yeah, I mean, it's top competitor to to downgrade it. Who who are they downgrading it comparison to to who to who? Like who, analysts, who analysts for like I know, um. But, like, but who? Who could compete with Tesla? That I don't know. Cause them to be it was, they, they're selling what? What are they selling? Panels, solar panels, solar panels, generators. generators. They're, they're they got Starlink. Yeah. Like countries are using Starlink. Mm -hmm. People are star are star. Um, I've I've been hearing that like people are gonna change to Starlink from mm. their regular internet providers. Yeah. So. I don't I know. I think someone's not happy. I. Up Higher up. Yeah, I, think it I just think it's a reason to company. short. I think it's just a reason to short Tesla because they love the stock and they it, it already went on a hundred and twenty percent run. So they're like, all right, it hit our price target. Mm -hmm. Let's come out with some hit articles. Oh, oh, uh, SpaceX crashed. Let's put it all over the news. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's Elon, but it, SpaceX isn't Tesla. It's, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's it's it might be it sounds like it might be more anti Elon than anti yeah. Tesla. They're just Elon haters. Yeah, I'm not an Elon lover. Yeah, I, I mean I don't like. Man, yeah, I'm not like obsessed with them. But, but there's a lot of funny business going yeah. on up high with the money and the pockets and the stealing. Yeah, and the laundry. it'll be funny, and then and then and then um, probably later in the year they'll 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 upgrade the analysis again and then they'll say oh well, it's it's three hundred dollar stock yeah. towards the end of the year once they see the numbers coming out for the model y and then the revenues shot gone through the roof back again and it'll be back to a trillion dollar company honestly they can say whatever they want <laughs> but i don't know anyone that's like no tesla is down with tesla don't buy a tesla car yeah they've had seven downgrade well the analysts on the yeah. stock yeah but i haven't I, like public sentiment Personally, I haven't run into anyone. Yeah, but market sentiment, though, Tesla. right now, it's bearish. Yeah. Oh, really? How yeah. bearish? Very bearish? Um, no. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're right now, it, it closed out the week at 164, and they're saying it has, like, uh, support. You could see it as low as 140. But, I mean, right now, it's it's 78% bullish. But, I mean, that's not with analysts. That's just the overall the market. Public sentiment. Yeah, public, like retail. Yeah. Retail sentiment is always high with Tesla. Which I think is more reflective of the actual market. Yeah. In terms of like if it was a genuine market. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. But anyway, so. I don't know. I just think um, clearly they know what they're doing going into China now. Expanding. Opening their price points. Okay. It's, I mean, it's only going to bring more revenue to the company. Hey, I mean. Like, I hey, we have six cars now ranging from, for example, 25000 to upwards of the Model S Plaid for, I don't know, $120,000, $15,000 car. That's the, the that's the most expensive. Yeah, the Model S Plaid, which is I think also the fastest production car in the world. No, it's pretty pretty close. Beats wow. like Ferraris and stuff. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Just a lot going on in the news with Tesla as usual, along with like this other crazy story that I read. Apparently, in Washington State, this guy was visiting his friend, 
staying at his house and he woke up the next day to his model s very expensive car torched was that um by accident was it like a user error so a <laughs> user error actually the guy so the owner of the car obviously called the the police and in the fire department, I, I guess. But anyways, he was staying at his friend's house in Seattle in Spokane, Washington. No, just, just outside of Seattle. I believe I've only been to Seattle once. But um, it was, uh, what are they called? The Sentry? The yeah. cameras? Sentry mode, it's called, I believe. Oh, like on, on oh, Tesla's. Tesla can see yeah, like it can see around the cars and yeah, everything. Yeah, that's pretty cool, too. Yeah, they, they, they've caught like criminals doing other acts. But like just because the car was nearby yeah exactly but this guy who owned this car in washington checked his camera which didn't burn i guess mm -hmm. so he was able to see and he saw that somebody just just a random guy came with what we think is gasoline in the video and just started pouring it all over the model s and just lit it on fire but he didn't find that until later, the fact, until he had already contacted the police. And the police didn't even really do bother doing any type of, like, oh, why did this car catch on fire? And said they were like, oh, what's an electric car? It must have been the battery. <laughs> so the owner of the car, the guy who had his car burned for no apparent reason, I don't know why, found out that, yeah, it's just another guy just walked up on his car in the late night or in the middle of the night. Something's and just started pouring gasoline over his car. And he wasn't even from there. He was just visiting his friend. So, like, they don't know if it's, like, a targeted oh. attack against EVs and Tesla. because people the friend because they saw that. Yeah, maybe friend. it was. Yeah, they don't. Or maybe the guy was just angry that he didn't have a Tesla. He yeah. Like, he was like, bump your Tesla. Yeah. Which I don't know why he would, like, target EVs. Like, aren't they supposed to be, like, oh, they're better. For... I have... That sounds a little too far-fetched. For it to be like, because there are groups of cars, there are groups of people where they literally go out after like gas guzzling cars. Really, I saw on the news like two weeks ago. There's apparently like this like worldwide group that's like, I don't know if it's an environmental type of group, but they just go around taking the air out of like really big cars and gas guzzling cars, and they leave a note on your windshield. Yeah, and it was in the back bay of Boston like two weeks ago. They found like what? seven or eight, nine cars, like almost like a dozen cars, like all in a row or like within the same neighborhood that like had all flat tires. And then they literally left them like these like notes, like paragraphs along about who they are and why they did it and everything. And, and I don't know. People That's are, horrid. There are crazy people. How Is do you it... expect us to, uh, to afford? Okay. Someone's mad at you <laughs> for buying a gas car, for having a gas car. But then you go and you slash their tires or ruin their car yeah. because they should be driving electric cars. But guess what? I need that car to get to work to make money so I can buy my electric car. Uh, yeah, I think the analysts got it wrong or I don't know. They're just doing, I don't know, maybe market manipulation. They just, they just want to buy more at a lower price. Okay. I Who mean, what, what's the, the, I'm looking up the price of, you said Tesla stock is at... So it, it, it closed this past week, or I should say last week, at 164. 164? Yeah. Which is a high of last week. It was trading, I think at the lowest, it was like 150-ish, 152, mm -hmm. 3, something like that. And it had a little bit of a pop, and then it closed the week at 164 last week. Yeah. I don't See, know. I'm looking at it here, and it says, bullish pattern, but performance outlook short term bearish midterm bearish long-term bearish but it's been nothing but bullish yeah well in it's come down from its it high it's come down but that's the overall market because yeah. of what's been going yeah. on yeah and it, yeah like i said a plus it went on like 110 120 percent run from a hunt from 101 from the beginning of the, beginning of the year mm. but uh yeah i actually at its current price, it might be a buy. Yeah, I'm 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 personally gonna watch it this week and see if it goes down to like 140. I saw it has support somewhere up between like 140. Not financial advice. Just I, I uh, financial like, entertainment. I, I feel like I always gotta say that. Not financial. That's advice. what everybody says. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't sue us for talking about stocks. We're not telling you to buy it. Me, I don't know, but um, I don't know. I, I'm. I would love to get into like a low 100, but. Yeah. 
Tesla stock, I don't care if they say it's bearish. I'm, I'm bullish. I'm bullish. Not financial advice, but I'm bullish on Tesla stock always. I'm bullish. 140 plus. 140 plus? Yeah, at 140 plus. Okay. Ooh, maybe in a maybe maybe in a better market, I, I would say that's a good $250 stock. In a fantastic market with like things going really well for Tesla, I, I'd say 300 I think there's still time. We'll see yeah. where the market's going in the outlook. A well, buy, as long as buy-in time is coming. Yeah, as long as Jerome Powell doesn't hit us again with another three rate hikes and like remove another. Mr. Powell, don't hurt me. Another three trillion dollars from the market just from words. <laughs> just from words. The guy just says like three sentences, and the market <laughs> loses three trillion dollars. Yeah. It's like a trillion dollars a sentence. It's like it loses the. The, the U.S. stock market loses the GDP of Spain and Portugal every time that man goes on TV. <laughs> it's, a, it's a roller coaster ride, that's for sure. It is. So Tesla. Tesla. China. Anything else you want to talk about Tesla? No. I mean, well, just like I said, the Model Y, then I heard, like I said, they're coming out with a new another newer car. I'm not sure what model it's going to be, but it's mm-hmm. going to be even... More affordable than the forty six thousand dollar option plus the seventy five hundred dollar tax credit you get with it. So mm-hmm. that puts it to like what, like a thirty eight, thirty nine thousand dollar car. Which is a good price. Yeah. For a brand new E V. Yeah. Still a lot of money. Yes, that's true. But but considering the price yeah, of for a brand new car brand and an E V, yeah, you're getting you're getting your money's worth, I think, at and forty grand. If someone tries to arson your vehicle, you got them on camera. You got candid camera proof. <laughs> Free ones. Thank you, Tesla, and thank you, Elon. We like we like the stock and we like the we like the the car. Papa Elon. We like the products. Mm. <laughs> Keep it up. King Musk. King Musk! <laughs> All right, <laughs> so we're signing out. Signing out. Episode two, Episode maybe two. one for you. Who knows? Maybe Who knows? you saw this one before the Netflix in. one. Yeah, this one was. Share your thoughts in the comments. Make a comment, or probably just a bot comment, because yeah, I don't do you know. Because yeah, Tell us what you share with us. What yeah, you what do you Tesla? think of the new Model Y? You think the analysts are wrong, like I do? Yeah. <laughs> do you think the analysts are wrong, like I do? <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, you know. You could like the video, but you don't have to. It's fine. (laughs) See you later. Subscribe.